This is the first year here at the Teen Center, but it's been going on in Stockton for a while. Depending on the level of the artist, they can go really advanced into shading, into making it look like a actual art piece or to just you know make it look like a drawing. We have um, sponsored plots and so we ask different organizations and businesses to to sponsor a square where artists will paint um, and they'll be recognized by having their um, you know their uh, their name and their their logo if they have one. One of the things that, that Stockton is kind of missing is getting the community involved with the center like this. Um, we have had some centers that have failed in the past and what we're trying to do is get the whole community, um, businesses, uh, local organizations, individuals to just sponsor the, sponsor the teen center and then bring funds in and just show that you know we're all in this together and we want to make Stockton a better place. So. Before coming here I thought like you know Stockton like people from Stockton and companies and stuff doesn't like really care about like teenagers and because you're like oh you're gonna like wind up all like like, you guys are gonna wind up bad. I mean, like, it's Stockton. But, like, after coming here, I figured out, like, you know, there's actually some people who have a good heart and stuff and wanna sponsor us by helping the community and helping us, like, with something like this. I actually like the one with the eye and, like, how, you know, it's red, blue, and white and stuff. And it looks really nice. I mean, like, I wish I can draw like that. And then there was, like, another big wall where somebody, like, spray painted all over it and stuff, which was, it was really nice. <laughs> You see a lot of the creativity come out. Um, that's something that, you know, it's kind of hard for teens to, to express themselves and, and art's a really, really cool way to do that. The more experienced artists will come earlier in the day because it gets really hot during the, the later times. They'll have a grid so they'll be able to just map out where they're going to have their, you know, focus on one area because with such a large piece it's hard to kind of um, just, you know, uh, to see the big picture, you have to focus on the little details and get all the shading correct. So that's why they do the grids. Um, but some people like to just, you know, do freelance and, and just draw it out and then do it day of. So it just depends on the artist and what technique that they're used to doing. But I think they learn from each other too. So they talk and, hey, you know, what's the spray bottle for? What's the water for? What's the brush for? So they all kind of learn how to do the blending and the mixing of all the, the chalk pastels into the, the, ash, the asphalt. They last for a while. We've had some of the ones that we practice on um, for over weeks, maybe like two or three weeks or, or more even. So we, we might, you know, we'll have them for a while and it'll be nice to, we'll just let them kind of uh, do the organic way of just wearing out.